got something a little different today. I figured I'd do some miscellaneous openings here from sportscards.com. You know I get a lot of my boxes, especially my hockey boxes there. We've opened a couple of these, but I have not opened this one. I'm kind of curious because got one. I'm thinking of getting another one. So this one is Beckett Blowout Box. Two Beckett encapsulated items per box. I don't know what's in there. It could be any sport, too. So, and same with that one. Great to the game. It is a graded mystery box series, two. And, of course, we got the good old-fashioned black box vintage. So we're going to be opening these three items today and see what we get. So it'll probably be a semi-short break, but still it'll be fun to do. So uh, I love opening the black vintage box. I've got some good stuff out of here. I've not opened these at all, so that'd be interesting. And same with this one. So let's get right to it. We're going to start out with the greats of the game first because that is all sports. I don't know what's going to be in there, so it could be a huge hit. So let's open it up and find out. So there it is. Greats of the game. I got this for 50 bucks. So you get one slab. So it is like a, a very expensive lottery ticket. You never know what you're going to get in here. So man, my Chuck Norris screwdriver is failing me today. Here we go. And let's see what we get here from sports cards. I love these guys. They do a good job. They give you different stuff. So I kind of keep buying from them. You know, they're hitting miss. They're not a group. So let's see what we get from sportscards.com. That is the greats of the game and it's hidden so i can't tell you so here we go gonna rip the band-aid off so three two one boom we're gonna be basketball here so we're gonna get a basketball card we're gonna get a 2013 panini prism cj mccullen mint number nine i don't know my basketball very well but i can look it up so i'll show the price right there don't don't see if I, I could be should be more excited than I don't I don't know what do you guys think uh probably not the best I don't know uh it doesn't look like a rookie car it's just a graded uh 2013 prism so nothing spectacular there I would say I would say ho hum but hey it's a lottery ticket you get what you pay for you can hit a home run or you can strike out or in basketball terms an air ball apparently which that one kind of is but if you're, you're a CJ McCollum fan or a Portland Trailblazer fan, you probably like that card. So that's our first card right there. Uh, nothing too special, I would say. In my book, I'll uh, show the price as you know. Maybe I'll get more excited when I look at the price and say it's worth it. But, you know, you never know. Some people might want that for their set. So up next, we got the Black Box Vintage. These are $40 a piece. And these I've done pretty well in in the past. So I've been very pleased with my openings of these. But you never know. You know, it's all a crap shoe. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, if you're willing to risk the money, it might be fun to do. So here we go. Here comes, I don't know if there's going to be a guard or not. Sometimes there are, sometimes they're not. And one, two, three. And there is this time. So I got to rub the band-aid. Here we go. One, two two and three boom oh, very nice we got 1966 Ford. very nice that's a pretty good shape i mean they got kind of soft corners you're not gonna get 10 or uh, nine out of that but still that's a good collectible card right there good old whitey ford he was a great pitcher for the yankees so there he is posing his uh pitching pose right there so very nice card uh, i love it so we'll take that card that card is definitely a, a winner hit for me oh uh, we'll take that 1966 whitey ford oh uh, that is a great card right there like i said i've not been disappointed with the cards they give you in here i've got a couple of al k lines roberto clemente's i got a beat up 59 mickey mana but still you know what Mickey Mantles still hold their value. All right, let's get to the Beckett blowout. Two Beckett and capsule per item. Uh, I don't know what this is. So again, I paid 50 bucks for this one. So you have to let me know if you think it was worth it or not. I might have to get more of this because it's kind of fun. I love doing the vintage ones. Oh, here we go. And open that up and get that tissue paper course. And more tissue paper, because you can never get enough tissue paper. There's your bonus. There, there they are. All encapsulated. 
all fun. I'll bring those two back in here so you can keep staring at them. Oh, there's the sticker from sportscards.com. Here we go. I don't know if there's going to be. Man, I wrapped this really good here. So here comes the first one. Boom! We're going to get an autograph there. We're going to get a Doug Drawback autograph from 1992 Leaf. Uh, very nice. Uh, that is uh, authenticated from Beckett. Uh, it gives you no grade. It's just an authentic autograph. So I'm an autograph. I'm a huge autograph collector. So I was actually going to send out for him. He does do TTMs, I believe. I don't know if it's worth the price or not. I'll have to double check, but still a very good card from the Pittsburgh Pirates on the 92 Leaf. We got an autograph of Doug Drabeck. Oh, here comes the next one. And one, two, three. Boom! We're going to get an Olympic player. So we are going to get Dan Gable. Oh, I don't know who he is, but apparently... Uh, from the 72 Munich Games, so 20th Olympics. So this is from 1980, it looks like. A trading card. Oh, 83, sorry, 83 tops. History's greatest Olympians, Dan Gable. So there he is, a little up in the corner there. Looks like he's doing some wrestling there. Getting some wrestling. So getting a wrestling card. That's kind of unique. Uh, from 1972, so good year. Dan Gable, probably the world's most dedicated athlete in the world, Today defeated Russia's Ruslan Arshadiev 8 0 to win the lightweight wrestling gold medal. Gable, who has only been beaten once in his career, threw a shutout to win the title as none of the world's best wrestlers scored a point off of him. Holy cow! All right! So, interesting fact there. We got uh, Dan Gable uh, autograph there. That's def definitely unique. It's kind of interesting. We'll take it again. It's not graded. It, it looks like it's in good shape, though. So uh, it's just an autograph. Uh, kind of unique, I would say. Uh, say the least. How do you see Dan Gable around? So, very nice. So thank you so much, Dan Gable, for signing that card. I appreciate it. I appreciate the cards. Was it worth 50 bucks? Well, I don't know. Probably not, but still kind of cool. So you know what? I think I'm in a sporting mood. I'll open up. A double. I got another pack of these two. So stay tuned. We'll open two more up and see what we get in those. All right. I'm the Christmas spirits. I got I got another pack of the vintage and the greats of the game. So let's give it another try. Let's hope we get something better than a CJ McCollin. So uh, I want to see something good out of here. So hopefully we get in this box. So greats of the game. Oh. Uh, you get one graded slab card. Oh, here we go. And open it up. And there is the band-aid. So we gotta rip that band-aid open. So in three, two, one, boom! We got 1995 score Trey Troy Aikman. So very nice. Getting a Troy Aikman there from 1995. So definitely different different sports, that is for sure. Oh, Gem Mint 10. So, again, don't know what the value is. I'll, I'll show you the price. They do show the prices, mostly. Um, Starstruck there. So, a very nice card. Uh, there you go. Two, or 1995. Troy Aikman. Uh, Gem Mint 5. So, kind of still in the junk wax era. Kind of getting out of it. Oh, uh, I don't know how much value this will have, but... Still a very nice card, Troy Aikman. He was a great quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, so we'll take that. So there's that one. I think I like that one a little bit more than <laughs> C.J. McCollum, but I could be wrong. Right, we're going to set that aside right there so you get to see that. And we're going to open up that vintage box. So we got the Whitey Ford here. Oh. Uh, Let's see what we get in this vintage box here. Uh, again, these are not graded. They're just vintage cards. It's kind of like higher-end ones. So here we go. There it is. There's the Band-Aid. So we got to rip that Band-Aid off. And three, two, one, and boom! We got a 1964 pitching leaders from the National League. We got Sandy Koufax there. 
We got Juan Marshall. We got Warren Spawn. And we got Jim Maloney. So a very nice card there. 1964. Uh, very nice. It's an average condition, I would say. Not the best, not the worst. But still, we'll take it. Number three. I'll show the price on that. So some decent vintage. We'll take that all day long. You know I love my vintage cards, especially baseball and hockey. So we will take that all day long. So very nice. We'll take everything we got here. Oh, uh, we got the 60 four pitching leaders we got the 63 whitey ford so set those aside and we got the troy aikman there cj mccollum and those two autographs of doug drabeck and dan gable so very nice kind of unique there we'll take it what do you guys think did you like it didn't like it uh do you want me to get more of this i got more of these still i might get a couple more of these autographs they're kind of unique i know they're not worth super super much but still kind of cool so we will take that all day long so leave your comments did you like it didn't like it i appreciate it. i always like to hear from you guys so different sports this time too with football basketball olympics Oh, uh, kind of unique. <laughs> Dig at this damn game more and more, actually. So it's kind of unique. So if you like watching this, hit that subscription button. It means the world to me. And we do this all the time. And you can get all the great values. So thank you, sportscards.com, um, for your offerings. You know, I paid them. I didn't get any preferential treatment or anything i just buy the stuff it's good and bad you never know what you get that's what's fun about the mystery so thank you for watching retro robbie saying collect what you love